Hey guys, what's up? It's Asia. I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a video showing you how to make your own natural laundry detergent. No bar soap is needed for this recipe. It will give you a nice wash and yeah, all natural. You can do it yourself. So this is what you will need. Uh, you'll need some baking soda, washing soda, Epsom salt, salt, essential oil, and a air container I'm also using borax detergent booster but it's optional so yes these are the items I'm gonna be using we also need like a measuring tool I've got an old half cup that I use for non food recipes so that's what I'm gonna be using and I got some essential oils first item I'm putting in is my baking soda uh, I got this package off of Amazon but yeah it's basically baking soda um, sodium bicarbonate and I'm gonna do three of these half cups giving me my uh, one and a half cups you can double these if you want to make a bigger batch I just like making smaller batches because I like them to be scented differently next I'm adding my super washing soda um, same thing using my half cup uh, adding my super washing soda Next, we're gonna be using Epsom salt, and this is also a really good cleaning and sanitizing agent. Then I'm gonna be using my pink Himalayan salt for my salt. You can also use sea salt for this, but this is what I've got. So I'm gonna use this. Um, and salt is really cleansing. Next, I'm gonna be using my borax, which has a lot of uses. Check this out, you know, you can clean with it. It gets rid of smells really well. You can clean your um, pots and pans with it. And it removes the stinky smell from your laundry, um, from your washer after you know you use it for a while. You, you get that smell gone. You know that smell that you get sometimes in the washer. It's good at getting rid of that. Next, I'm gonna add my lemon and lemongrass essential oils just to give it some fragrance. Um, I'm using this whisk <laughs> that I got from Dollar Tree. I've never used it before and I don't think I'll ever use it, so I figure I'll use it to mix up this stuff. Um, I've heard people put this powder in like a food processor just to mix it up, but I don't wanna do all that. So I figured I'll just mix it by hand because I didn't feel like cleaning um, my food processor after the fact and like it probably would have been easy but whatever. <laughs> I'm going to add some lavender oil um, to just kind of warm it up a bit. The, lav the lemon and the lemongrass smell really fresh so I'm just adding a little lavender just to warm up the scent a little bit. But yeah this is basically... It. you just want to make sure it's all well blended I'm just gonna stir it and stir it and stir it and shake it up and just kind of blend all those salts together you know the Epsom salt the, the pink salt is really good at cleansing and like it's a natural sanitizer so it's really good for that um, and yeah that's basically it this is gonna last me a while because you only need one heaping tablespoon of this stuff per wash load so you know and it's good for high um efficiency washers because it doesn't create suds and borax is really good at cleansing the leftover soap out of your clothes a lot of people don't realize when you wash clothes the washer doesn't always wash everything out so borax will get those you know lingering soap particles and stuff off your clothes and then here i'm just showing you i'm going to use my tablespoon i just separated it from its set and yeah when i go to wash i'll just grab me a heaping tablespoon throw it in and i'm good to go and yeah this is my recipe for all natural laundry detergent <laughs> laundry detergent i hope y'all uh, find this useful and let me know if you have any questions comments in the comment section and i hope y'all are safe and well and you know continuing to spread love during these crazy times 
all right y'all thank you so much for watching